Hi, and welcome to Sensitivity. As we've talked about, there are several performance characteristics that can be observed for instruments. There are two categories of performance characteristics, static and dynamic. For this video, however, we will focus on one of the static performance characteristics from input to output, sensitivity. To examine the relationship between input and output, we look at the sensitivity. Sensitivity is the gain of a system. It is the change of the output divided by the change of the input. Sensitivity can therefore be determined by a graph of input versus output. As the input changes, the output changes according to a relationship governed by the slope of the graph. Sensitivity is constant when this slope is linear, and thus the system is linear. This line can be shifted to the left or right, which is common for instruments. This shift is called the offset. The offset does not affect the sensitivity because the slope of the line does not change. However, in order to get accurate readings, the offset should be reduced to zero, or at least accounted for. In most cases, this can be achieved by a knob on a machine. An important note is that instruments eventually saturate whenever they encounter inputs that are too high or too low. At these points, the slope of the line is zero. This means the instrument is at a minimum sensitivity of zero and thus cannot relate the input to the output. Instruments should always be operated at their maximum levels of sensitivity. Higher sensitivities in general are better, so the steeper the slope of a linear system, the better. This essentially means we want the instrument to be able to output high, quantifiable values even for small inputs. If a system is nonlinear, the sensitivity can be calculated as the slope of a line tangent to a point on the curve. The sensitivity is the local slope, change in output divided by change in input at the operating point, indicated here by IN naught. An example can be found on Quiz 1 of 2019. This question wants the sensitivity of the transducer to be found. Strain, the input signal, is on the x-axis and the voltage output is on the y-axis. To find the sensitivity of the strain to voltage transducer, we can take the change in voltage divided by the change in strain over the range in which the sensitivity is linear and non-zero. 1 minus 0 volts is 1 volt. 0 0.01 minus negative 0 0.01 is 0 0.2. Dividing the change in volts, 1 volt, by the change in strain, 0 0.02, we find the sensitivity to be 50 volts. The range of strain over which this transducer operates is the range in which the sensitivity is non-zero and the instrument is not saturated by low or high strain inputs. Hopefully you have a better idea of what sensitivity means in the context of instruments. See you soon!